Tuesday and I've just arrived at Matsura. Paul, the MX850, what a sexy machine. Now, what have you learned about this machine today? Well, I've learned you always come when the sandwiches are on, don't you? But no, it's a great machine. Flexibility here with five axis machining on larger scale work pieces, but not just the larger work pieces, smaller parts as well. Now, let's just take a, a quick look in here at the, at the five axis machining element here, because this is a, a, a helicopter demo, as they call here. Now, just to also illustrate the speed of the machine and the, the cutting capability of this machine, that part there, would you believe, has been machined from, from solid in less than an hour. That's how fast this machine is. I mean, the metal removal rate to remove all of that in an hour is just absolutely phenomenal. But look at the construction of that machine. Look at the, the fifth axis construction where it's supported both ends. It's driven both ends simultaneously, that, that trunnion. That's right. And I believe that it's about four or 500 kilos you can get on the table. So for those heavier parts, this machine is constructed beautifully for that handcrafted precision from Matsura. Now that's the five axis side, but let's take a look then here at what we really are showing here and which is, is new from Matsura is the PC4. Now this is obviously a pallet system here, which means that the machine can run unmanned. You would load your pallets up and they would be fed into the machine and you can keep the spindle moving. One of the points that we uh, need to put across is that Matsura are very big in their horizontal machining centers, their pallet machines, automation. They've been doing this for years, you know, their own solutions. But here you can look at this as almost like a horizontal machining center as well as when you tip the table on its side and you're coming down with a vertical spindle, you can obviously attack four faces of a cube. So there you have um, a perfect part to show you how big you can actually put a component on the machine. But then also you can have a, a cube or a tombstone to maybe do more parts, multiple components. Now, I believe that you've got a 850 swing diameter and a 385 mil height. That's the capacity of parts, a half a ton weight. I mean, that, that gives you a lot of versatility. Like you say, very large one-off component or a tombstone that's fixtured up for many smaller fifth axis components multi you know ultimate flexibility Paul well this is what I was talking about earlier on one of my videos uh, you, you, you know you could have several vices on here with different types of parts don't look at this as you know just the sort of application that's in the machine there think about when you look around your machine shop and you've got a 10 off of that and you've got 15 off of that 30 off of that all of that can be fixtured on one pallet but then you've got obviously more, more pallets as well so if you're looking to keep that machine running you know you can obviously have a, a bigger tool changer in order to get more tools on the machine you can have sister tools to make sure that if you are running through the night you've got you know well you can make sure that you're not going to you know have, have issues with your tooling so all of those elements are, are covered under Matsura's automation solution great solution here from Matsura day one so make sure you come down and visit on day two this is just one of many many highlights at the show